This is so in the following ways. Number one, according to Quran and according to the teachings of Quran, belief in the prophets and belief in the books. These are the two articles of belief and faith. And these two articles of belief, that is belief in the prophets and in the uh, belief in the books, they have, it has to be perfected for the perfection of faith. And for the perfection of these two articles of faith, Quran explains that, that all the believers have to have faith and belief in not only Prophet ﷺ, but in all the prophets before him also. And all the people just have who have faith or who are the believers, they are supposed to believe in Quran and the holy books and the divine scriptures which were revealed before Quran. As Allah said in Surah Baqarah, Yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablika. So this is one manner in which Quran confirms the previous divine scriptures. The second thing is that Quran very frequently talks about them. Quran mentions the Torah and the Injil and the divine scriptures, so for Ibrahim, Abba Musa, and then frequently talks about them and mentions them. So this in another way is musaddiq al-lima ma'akum. And the third thing is that in the teachings, the teachings, the orders, the laws, the do's, the don'ts, the rules, the regulations, the halal, the haram mentioned in Quran are exactly similar to what were mentioned in Torah and they were mentioned in Injil. So the orders and the teachings of Quran are similar to the teachings of the books of the people of the book. So now after inviting the Jews and Christians to accept and to believe the Quran, Allah has ordered them not to disbelieve in the teachings of Quran. Allah also orders the people of the previous books to avoid trading with um, the worldly gains in exchange of the verses of Quran. And uh, then in this word, uh, verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has again repeated what? That just fear Allah and solely Allah. 